So this is creating your first sensor controller studio project. So for this project, we're just going to read the analog value of potentiometer. So pin one or leftmost pin of the potentiometer is connected to ground. Pin two is analog input connected to the IO23. Pin three is analog enable connected to the IO25. So first thing you need to do is create a folder for your sensor controller project. So here I created a folder called sensor sensor controller programs. So then open sensor controller studio. So make sure that your sensor controller studio supports your SDK. So here is the latest um, version 2.60 supports SDK 3.30. Okay, so here is the start page. So select create new project and then enter a project name. This call it potentiometer project. Then source code output directory. See, yes, here new folder. So, let's see. And then chip name select CC two six four zero RTF. So launchpad uses seven seven by seven millimeter package. Then create a task. So this task name is So task name is what one task and then we set analog input analog pins so we call it what output so analog Enter a short dis description. Then we set a analog enable pin. Then we're going to need a delay and system CPU alert. So I'm going to make this uh, sensor controller project, which will be um, uh, triggered from the application. So we're not going to use uh, RTC based execution scheduling. Okay, so next thing to do is set the IO mapping. So here you can see it's unmapped. So for analog input, we set the IO23. So for analog enable, we set the IO25. Save. And then, so what we're going to do is sample the analog input eight times and then average it. So for sampling, count we need a constant we call it sample count and value 8 
Okay, so then it uh, add a output. They call it so for the analog samples. So put values. Initial value zero, and then for the average analog zero, save. Okay, so so once you trigger the this spot one task from the application side, it will execute the initialization, execution, then termination. So at initialization, we can first make sure the uh, put value is set to zero. That put value for zero, and then this uh, disable the analog sensor. So GPIO clear output. And then, so the pin uh, put one in enable is has a prefix ox. So here, so this will set the uh, put enable pin to zero, which will disable the potentiometer. Execution code we. Enable the pot enable. So set output. So to make sure that the potential meter is completely power, we put a delay. And then we put 80 50 milliseconds delay. Uh, we put 80, 850 microsecond delay. And then we set the ADC. Oh, wait, we forgot to enable the ADC. That's why the ADC functions are not available. So, enable sync, we set the fix reference, and then we set the sample time, it will sample. Then ADC trigger manual. And then we set the select the input ADC input ADC. So ox then we create a for loop or something the analog input.
I call ADC Jen Manuel Trigger. ADC read FIFO. Then start to output that pot values. And then Okay, then so this so this code will divide the uh, pot value by eight, which will average. The analog in analog values then we call ADC flash people disable the Disable the potentiometer. And then signal the main application. And that's about it. So to know if there's error in your code, just go to code generation. Execution code 17. Ah, okay. I'll put that. Okay, so I just fixed this. And now code generation, there's no error. So for task testing, we just run the equals. Run the execution code. Okay. okay, so this is the setup. Then I'm going to connect. Then set the select the pot value and then run. So here I'm going to rotate the left, going to rotate left, rotate right, rotate left, rotate right, rotate left. So it works. 